So here it is for the team title, the 4 by 400 meter relay, collegiate NCA meet record held by the LSU Tigers. And a and threatened that on Wednesday in the prelims. The best time was 2.59.95. But a month ago at the SEC Championships in Columbia, South Carolina, it was the 4x400 relay and the Texas A&M Aggies and the Curley brothers bringing them home like they have all season long. Fred Curley ran the second leg. Robert Grant brought the baton and pulled away from people. And Malik, the younger brother, closed things out for A&M. They have the world's leading time for the 4x4. Four four. It's the same as it was indoors with Fred leading off and Malik finishing not only in the, to win the title by a half a point, but also to set the collegiate record. They have the top four times in the world this year. And as Larry has mentioned, they had the world relays meet this year. And Texas A&M still has the top four times in the world this year. Isn't that incredible, Dwight? Seriously, I mean, we've been around the sport forever. The world relays, a money event, pro athletes down in the Bahamas, big attendance, the whole deal. And, and the best teams from Jamaica and everybody else show up, and you have an American collegiate team with four guys that have run faster than any of the Olympic teams did that were down in Jamaica. Now, four years Excuse ago. Excuse me, down in the Bahamas. Four years ago, things were somewhat different. Florida was uh, a better 4 by 400 team, as we're looking at Nick Arubaru, who will uh, lead off for the Gators. And a and only needed to score a seventh place finish. They bobbled the baton pass and ended up eighth, and they tied with Florida. But now Florida's got the seven point advantage and they do have a very strong team as they usually do. They are expected to get second or third. So no matter how fast a runs, they can win this thing. If Florida finishes better than sixth, they repeat as team titleists. Think of all the training and everything that's gone on, gone into this moment since the indoor championships. And it's like we're in the same place. By the way, notable absence. Defending champion LSU failed to advance due to a bobbled second exchange in the prelims, which we saw. And they certainly would have made this interesting, maybe put distance between AM and Florida. So we have to watch these passes carefully. We have to watch lane lines carefully in this first, the first two legs to see if there's any impropriety. You'll see Richard Rose, the sophomore from AM, on your screen lead off for the Aggies. By the way, there are other teams in this race. Eight all together from the inside. Iowa, Arkansas, and Alabama. Then AM, Florida, Auburn, Ohio State, and Texas Tech. SEC teams much? Auburn with a great young team in lane six outside of Florida. The anchors for AM, Fred Curley. For Florida, Grant Holloway, the freshman. Five SEC teams amongst these eight finalists. They battled it out all year long down in the Southeast Conference. Grant Holloway has already went, been second in the long jump and won the 110 meter hurdles. Now he's going to anchor the Gators for them, hopefully, to a national title. Steve Champlin hands off first for Texas Tech on the outside. 46-4 for the leadoff for Texas Tech. Here comes the rest of the pack. It's Malik Curley, the younger brother of Fred, running the second leg, so a different configuration than they had indoors. That's Iowa out there in front right now. Now Malik Curley making a move to go from third to second. Malik has good 800 meter strength and he's holding well and gaining on Texas Tech. That was Texas Tech, I'm sorry, here's Iowa is now in third. Malik currently hanging, handing off to Robert Grant who took a heck of a tumble in that 400 hurdle final. And for Texas Tech, this is Charles Jones. But Grant doing a great job for AM. You just have to be careful that he doesn't run out of gas as hard as he's pushing early. Malik Curley, 44.3 seconds for his leg. Tech continues to lead and hold off AM. 
Florida solidly in fifth. They just don't want to slip too much further back. And that is TJ Holmes running the third leg for the Gators. Robert Grant coming in even with Charles Jones. It's the collegiate record holder, the number one quarter miler in the world in Fred Curley, taking it against Vincent Crisp of Texas Tech. Iowa in third. Grant Holloway in fifth and trying to close. Now Fred Curley takes over, he is gone. Holloway just needs to make certain that the baton stays in his hand. He moves Florida up to fourth. It's AM. Tech. And now is that Arkansas coming into it? And then Al Holloway for Florida. They're fine right where they are, but finishes this way. The Gators win the team title. Fred Curley finishing hard for AM. And they break three minutes again. And Florida ends up fourth and they will repeat as team champions. Arkansas coming late to finish second. Iowa third, Florida fourth. 259.98 for AM. twice under three minutes in two days. Grant Holloway, blue chip performance, running his anchor leg in 43. 0.89 seconds to move Florida up into fourth, ah! and Fred Curley for AM anchored in 43.99 seconds. What a way to finish a great NCAA championship men's event. Fifth time that Texas AM has won the 4x400 relay. Well, let's take a look at these exchanges. So far, we don't see anything that should change the outcome. Right. On the outside running really well was the Red Raiders of Texas Tech. And they get there first by a step or two over Arkansas. Excuse me, that was, uh, that was Ohio State. But here, things change at this point. Texas Tech still has the lead, but the rest of the field has gained a lot. And it was A&M pulling away with Robert Grant getting the baton in first and Florida making up some ground as well on that leg was Eric Fudge. T.J. Holmes got the third leg going for Florida and here is Fred Curley anchoring so strongly for A&M, but the back of the pack told the story and it was great closes by T.J. Holmes and by Grant Holloway and an excellent run by Fudge, which moved them up in position to get enough points, Dwight, to take the NCAA title. We may not have this graphically supported yet, but I can tell you that Florida beat A&M by two points in the team title. And a did everything they could on that last one.